and welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a hair video a tutorial on how I got this hair laid to the highest of heaven say it with me to the highest of heavens okay so mm, yeah super easy as always you guys know in my tutorials I try to make them as easy as possible so you guys can follow through but this hair honestly I'm crazy in love but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy this video this hair is from my first wigs and you guys always love their hair and i absolutely love their hair so it's a 360 lace wig and so obviously you can have it you can tie it up or you can you literally can do whatever whatever you want with it it's so flat it comes pre plucked so you don't even need to do much work with it i just plucked it a little bit because i'm extra but you literally don't even have to as long as you lay it then you can slay it okay yeah, this hair is gorgeous and i'm absolutely crazy in love with it i haven't really done an updo in forever so i hope you guys like it i feel like my face is just extra snatched because all my hair is just slicked back and you know all the attention is on the glow you know I keep on watching to see how i got this delay make sure you like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. So I'm starting off with my hair washed and conditioned. I'm going to use my coconut oil leave-in conditioner from All Shades Covered and also this ORS oil. I'm just going to put that on my hair to make it nice and smooth and so it will look nice and healthy. Then I'm brushing that out, brushing out all the tangles and making sure it's nice and tangle free. Then I'm blow drying it just with any common blow dryer until it's dry have like a music video moment there so now I'm spraying it with my leave-in conditioner on the edges to make plucking it a little bit easier then I'm using my tweezer to just pluck that hairline to make it a little bit thinner so it looks a lot more realistic this is key to making your frontal look natural so make sure you pluck away the hairline try and go a little bit behind the hairline just so you don't make any mistakes and then I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation, but you can use any foundation to just tint the lace a little bit. This will make it look like your skin. As you can see, that's such a big difference. And then just go ahead and pluck a little bit more. Don't over pluck, but don't under pluck. We don't want bowl patches, but we also don't want to look like we have helmet head. So just pluck until it looks as natural as you would like. Then I'm cutting the lace with some scissors. Don't cut too close to the hairline because when you lay your baby hairs, you don't want it to be too close to the hairline. So just cut like a millimeter in front of the hairline. So once you're happy with that, just go ahead and grab a little bit of the front pieces and then just cut them down with like a razor. These are going to form your baby hairs that you'll be able to lay down. I find that a razor is always a lot better than scissors because it just looks a lot more sparse and a lot more natural. Then I'm brushing all the hair back so I can work a little bit better with that hairline. This will also help get rid of any excess hair that you took off of the tweezers that is left inside your wig. Then I'm using my trusty got to be gel to glue down the lace I'm putting it on my cap rather than my actual hair because this will save your edges for sure so this is a really good tip I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead as well avoiding my edges because you're gonna need your edges one day girls so just try and avoid them putting glue on them as much as you can and then I'm gonna blow dry it until it's tacky and then I'm gonna place that wig on my head and then just glue it down Try and be very careful with this because once it's glued down, it's going to be very hard and messy to take off. So, yes, just use your fingers when you're happy with it, brush it, and then see what it's looking like. So now I'm going to gel down those baby hairs with some got to be gel or you can use any gel that you like. And then I'm going to 
lay that with a scarf this is very important to get your wig as flat as possible and then I changed it to a larger scarf because it just covers a lot more surface area so now I'm gonna take that off once it's laid down as long as you can so this is after I've done my makeup so about 45 minutes and then this is what you see so then of course you can style it however you like but I'm just going to do a very simple style I'm just going to brush it and then put it in a ponytail just so you can see how versatile the hair is you can literally tie it up and it looks like it's coming from your scalp so definitely give this a go it just creates like a different like sophisticated kind of look and if you guys want me to do more styles on how to style a 360 frontal wig then let me know in the description box and I'll be sure to do it for you guys but otherwise that's all I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it super easy and please like comment and subscribe if you did and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys